Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to disable the killer networking uh, services and the, the lower app that comes with most new laptops these days, which have an Intel slash killer. Uh, I don't know if you've heard recently, but Intel did buy killer networking. So now unfortunately, um, we're going to get the killer software uh, lower on most of the new laptops. The problem with this app is on paper, it's supposed to prioritize your bandwidth to give apps or games that need more bandwidth priority over other apps in the background so that you have a, like a lag-free gameplay or streaming videos and whatnot. Sounds great on paper, works like crap in the real world because what it does is, is it kind of caps your, your bandwidth so by up to 40 to 50%. So a lot of times we get complaints from our customers that, hi, I just bought my new laptop. Why is my internet so much slower? And this is the number one culprit. So let me show you how you do that. And by the way, in today's world where internet speeds are like 500 megs a second to one gig, you don't need really any apps to prioritize bandwidth for you. I mean, you could be downloading a large file in the background while still being able to game, play, and stream videos without any issues. So here's how we do it. The, the first and easiest method, if, if you want to keep it installed but not play around with the services, you just launch the Killer Intelligence Center, aka the Killer Control Center. Now you want to hit prioritizing or prioritization engine. And then you're going to change this here from auto to, sorry, let's click auto and then uncheck all of these boxes. And that's it. Now, if you want to go a step further, you can disable the services also by going to to services.msc from the run dialog box. Tap anywhere here, click the letter K to quickly jump to the K listings. And you're gonna find these killer networking services. So you wanna double click on them, set them to disabled. And that's about it. Now, also click, type the letter X. Sometimes they have two services called Extend, which kind of act, help you to make your laptop like a mobile hotspot. They're the Extend services. In this case, they were not there, so we're good. And now just restart your computer. Your internet speed should come back to normal. You can also, of course, uninstall the app itself by hitting Uninstall. Now be careful if you do some Windows updates sometimes that re it reinstalls the, you know or updates the driver you may get the services re-enabled so make sure if you feel your internet is slow to so just go and double check you I know how to delete the services completely but I'm not going to show you how because if you delete them chances are more likely for Windows to reinstall reinstate them reinstall them via the next update so I I'd, I'd rather stick to just disabling them Right. Thank you. I hope you found this video helpful.